Towards the end of 2021, the United States government awarded Boeing and General Atomics a joint contract to create a prototype for a weapon that could potentially revolutionize national defense. In the last decade, the military tested several 30 kilowatt laser weapons, but this new enterprise sought to develop a laser device that was 10 times as powerful. It is expected that Boeing and General Atomics will soon demonstrate the concept of a 300 kilowatt class solid state distributed gain high energy laser weapon system. And just in time, given the recent trials that China has carried out with hypersonic weapons. Sputnik moment. In late 2021, China conducted a distressing test involving a hypersonic weapon system. According to General Mark Milley, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and the first Pentagon official to confirm the nature of the tests, such a weapon has nuclear capabilities, and it is possible to launch into space and even orbit around the Earth before re-entering the atmosphere and gliding towards its target. Its development was part of the country's aggressive advance in space and military technologies. However, the General clarified that further details would not be discussed as they involved classified intelligence. Still, Milley did confirm that the U.S. was working on its own hypersonic weapons featuring flight trajectory, speed, and maneuverability, enabling them to bypass early warning systems that are currently part of American missile defenses. However, the nation has not yet conducted a test like China's. The top officer described that, quote, what we saw was a very significant event of the test of a hypersonic weapon system, and it is very concerning. In fact, some newspapers referred to it as a Sputnik moment, a reference to the pivotal 1957 event that propelled America to boost its military developments when it was clear that it was falling behind in the arms race. Over half a century later, the arms race against China escalated. As Milley put it, quote, I don't know if it's quite a Sputnik moment, but I think it's very close to that. Team up. In tandem with the escalating weapons race, it was announced in late October of 2021 that the US federal government awarded a contract to build a 300 kilowatt laser weapon prototype to a team that included Boeing Defense Space and Security and General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems. Boeing is a leading aerospace company that develops, manufactures, and services products ranging from commercial airplanes to defense and space systems. Its customers comprise over 150 nations worldwide, and as a top exporter, it has global class talents and a diverse team committed to technological innovation. As for its partner, General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems, or GAEMS, it is a global leader in the research and design of first-of-a-kind electromagnetic and electric power generation systems. Their portfolio includes an extensive variety of specialized products and integrated system solutions in the fields of aviation, space systems and satellites, power and energy, and of course, missile defense. Combining their expertise, the partnership is regarded as an unmatched venture when it comes to directed energy and it is expected to deliver best-in-class, combat-ready protection with unrivaled speed, performance, safety, and affordability. On October 25th, 2021, the partners received the U.S. Army Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, or RCCTO, contract to develop a 300-kilowatt class, solid-state, distributed-gain, high-energy laser weapon system with the objective to demonstrate the concept and the design sometime in 2022. Scott Forney, president of GAEMS, asserted, quote, The high-power, compact laser weapon subsystem prototype that GAEMS will deliver under the contract will produce a lethal output greater than anything fielded to date. Indeed, the final delivery will be a powerful laser with an integrated Boeing director. The system is expected to leverage GAEMS's scalable distributed gain laser technology, equipped with Boeing's beam director and precision acquisition, tracking, and pointing software. The complete demonstrator will also feature a sophisticated laser and beam control. Forney added, quote, 
This technology represents a leap ahead capability for air and missile defense that is necessary to support the Army's modernization efforts and defeat next generation threats in a multi domain battle space. Problems and Solutions Other than being a mere demonstrator, the system will represent a significant step from former laser weapons the military has used in the past. In 2014, the U.S. Navy tested the 30-kilowatt beam Experimental Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, on the USS Ponce. The weapon proved helpful when shooting down small craft, such as drones, but the new laser might be able to take down missiles, as well as helicopters and aircraft. Provided that the tracking system can keep an energy beam pointed in the right direction, which should be relatively easy if the target travels in a straight line, regardless of speed. A laser of such extensive power could cause crippling damage. What's more, a weapon of this kind can not only melt metal surfaces and effectively wreck an aircraft's aerodynamics, but also easily destroy onboard electronics. Moreover, the team set out to show that GA's distributed gain laser arrangement is the solution to cooling problems that have typically limited the enhancement of high-energy laser weapons, lifting the imposed barriers of previous developments. Slab lasers tend to overheat as they fire light into a chunk of crystal as the gain medium, and thus require gross cooling systems. On the other hand, fiber lasers do a better job of staying cool, distributing the light through several fibers spaced apart and efficiently dispersing the heat, not letting it accumulate. However, the beams must be combined at the end, significantly increasing the complexity, volume, and weight of the weapon, not to mention the cost. Dr. Michael Perry, GAEMS Vice President for Lasers and Advanced Sensors, describes the platforms as, quote, a packaged version of the seventh generation of our distributed game design already demonstrated. The laser system employs two Gen 7 laser heads in a very compact and lightweight package. Recent architectural improvements have enabled our single beam DG lasers to achieve comparable beam quality to fiber lasers in a very simple design without the need for beam combination. The innovative system features slabs that run in series, each small enough to disperse its own heat. When light fires into the first, it is magnified and shot into the second, and so on. Therefore, the system has no heat issues or any need to combine beams, allowing the components to be assembled and packaged in versatile ways. In truth, GA was more than willing to develop the original scalable prototype even before they secured a military contract. portable power. With the U.S. Army as a powerful ally, the new laser weapon should be ready for testing sometime in 2022. Vice President and General Manager of Boeing's Missile and Weapon Systems Division, Cindy Grinsfelder, remarked, quote, We're excited to take the next steps in delivering this critical capability to the Army. Our joint offering will leverage proven, deployed technologies to provide an industry-leading solution on an accelerated timeline. Still, it is unknown whether the platform could be fitted on aircraft without a crippling demand for power, a capability that would guarantee its compact and lightweight uses. However, the portable device will undoubtedly be carried on trucks. While more details become available as development progresses, it is safe to assume that the weapon will give U.S. national defenses a more versatile approach to modern threats. Not for nothing did Blas Blaine, collaborator for New Atlas, conclude that, quote, the enormous speed advantage of a hypersonic missile means a lot less when you can shoot it down with an energy beam traveling at the speed of light. Thanks for watching our video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all of our Dark Documentaries channels for more military and history inspired content. And make sure to click on the bell icon to receive notifications on our newest videos. Stay tuned.